Hey, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta bring that shit back. It's good to have you with us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Golden Baby channel. I have a special video for you all today, but first I need to give you all a heads up that due to the nature of some of the details on this topic, I had to find ways to go around using certain words or just had to bleep out certain phrases in order to stay within the guidelines, but I hope the message still comes across as intended. Now, Alexis Ali J. Lynch, better known as just Lexi Ali J, was kind of a hidden gem in the music industry. She was definitely making a name for herself, however, we would never get to see her full creative potential as an artist. Lexi had a realness to herself and her music. She was seen as a lyricist who didn't limit herself to only talking about her body and other superficial things. Lexi was born February 19, 1998 near St. Paul, Minnesota, the granddaughter of Roger Troutman, who was the lead singer of the funk band Zap. Some of his notable hits include Computer Love and I Wanna Be Your Man. Roger was taken from this earth in 1999 by his own brother, leaving behind 11 children including his son, Lexi's father, also named Roger. Lexi's father, Roger Lynch, was a part of the R&B band Mint Condition, widely known for the song Pretty Brown Eyes. Sadly, Roger Lynch also passed in 2003. It's no surprise that Lexi would take a liking to music with a family history of notable artists as well. At first, Lexi thought her passion was basketball. She attended Como High School because she knew the basketball coach there, but she later transferred to a creative arts school after realizing that she liked music more. However, she ended up just going to school online because she claimed the art school became overpopulated with many students who weren't even there for art, as well as she was just not a social person and preferred to be alone. It was reported that later, Lexi decided to prioritize her music career over her school career as she had high hopes and dreams for herself as an artist. Though Lexi started creating music even before high school, her first song that she dropped was a remix to Tyga's Rack City, which was well received by her peers in school. Lexi made it known that her inspiration was J. Cole and she really wanted to sign to his label Dreamville. She even stated that even if Jay-Z were to offer to sign her for more money, she would still go with J. Cole because it's not about the money, it's the dream. Lexi released her first mixtape on her 16th birthday in 2014 and released two more mixtapes that same year. She also met artist Kehlani that summer who asked her to collaborate on a song called Jealous. This song would earn Lexi a Grammy nomination as it was featured on the Grammy nominated commercial mixtape by Kalani titled You Should Be Here. Lexi and Kalani created a bond together. Kalani referred to Lexi as her sister and became somewhat of a mentor to her. Lexi, who was managed by Juliana Goddard, aka Yes Jules, went on to release multiple projects and remixes to popular songs. She's had multiple performances and has even opened for Lil Uzi. She released her first album titled Growing Pains in 2017 when she was just 19 years old. Earlier I mentioned that Lexi said she wasn't really a social type of person. After watching all the interviews I could gather, Lexi's personality did come off as shy, timid, and maybe even socially anxious. I'm good. I'm uh, nervous, kind of. Just because. For what? Oh, just all the pressure coming. What's pressure? No, not here. Online. Like, just, you know. Like I said, what's I, pressure? I get nervous because I'm still young, you know? Like. Oh, my goodness. I'm not a B I T C H yet. I can't tell people, like, no. Like, let me the, say a businesswoman. I don't know how to make decisions and not. You're too nice. You're too nice I, for my the industry. Feelings. <laughs> yeah. I, I be thinking, like, oh, like, they're going to be sad if I don't want them to manage Mama. me. A part of the growing pains, too, is part of you saying me growing up is like, I went through a deep depression recently actually and the album just like man like it hurt you know what i'm saying like and it's like people don't really understand on december 31st 2019 21 year old lexi decided to stay at a luxury hotel in minneapolis called lowe's with friends and close ones the next day january 1st 2020 around 10 30 a.m lexi unexpectedly passed away almost two months before her 22nd birthday after her toxicology reports came back, it was evident that Lexi passed from a toxic mix of fentanyl and ethanol. 
Ethanol is the ingredient in adult beverages that basically makes you drunk, while fentanyl is a very heavy painkiller often used to tranquilize large animals such as elephants. Fentanyl can be prescribed in low doses by a healthcare professional to those who are suffering severe pain. But use of fentanyl on the streets has caused an epidemic in some areas. A lot of users of fentanyl take the substance unknowingly because oftentimes it is laced into other pills and made to look like an entirely different medication. Covered head to toe using oxygen tanks to breathe, you would think these officers are about to come in contact with a deadly disease. Inside, officers are searching for something so lethal and toxic that law enforcement can't afford to take any chances. All of this because they're about to come in contact with fentanyl. So that the DEA recently sent out a warning to police around the country with this chilling story. Fentanyl is what claimed the life of megastar Prince, coincidentally also in Minnesota. According to news sources, Prince took fentanyl believing that it was something else. So in other words, he had a fake. It's not clear the circumstances of why Lexi took what she took, whether she just took too much or she thought she was taking something else. Either way, her passing was ruled accidental. Lexi's life and music was celebrated in a traditional Native American four-day ceremony as Lexi had ties to the Lakota tribe by her mother, Jessica Owen. The news of Lexi's passing sat very heavy on many rap fans' hearts as the rap community was still in mourning after losing Juice World, not even a month before Lexi's passing, who, very similar to Lexi, also had a promising rap career, just turned 21, and also passed from a toxicity accident. Although Lexi knew plenty of other artists, public figures, and people in the industry, she seemed to have the closest bond with Kehlani, who took her passing the hardest. Lexi's family and industry family, including manager Jules and Kehlani, encourage anyone interested to stream Lexi's music. You can go to her official website to see where exactly you can stream her music from. If you are a fan of Lexi, feel free to speak on what her music did for you and what your favorite songs are down in the comment section below. Also, take this as a secondhand learning experience to just be careful of what you put into your body. I hope you all enjoyed the story of Lexi's life and musical creativity. I'll see you in the next video.